Okay, uh, today I'm going to teach you breast examination. This is very, very important examination. It can come as a teaching or it can come as a combined station. Uh, several time it has come, most of the time it has come as a combined station. Uh, how to examine the patient uh, coming with the breast lump or any concern where you have to examine the patient's breast, it is very important. It includes two components, the inspection and palpation. Inspection needs to be done in five different positions and uh, then we'll talk about the palpation. In inspection, the five different positions are the first position you ask the patient to uh, sit upright with their hands on their thighs and essentially you will expose the patient above their waist before you examine and explain the need of the chaperon and privacy will be maintained. So after you have explained you started the procedure ask the patient to sit upright with their hands on thighs and then the next position where you will be inspecting the patient is asking the patient to bend forward and the third position is ask them to put their hands on the sides and press against their hips. The fourth position is you ask the patient to lift their breast up and uh, also squeeze their nipples. The fifth position is you ask the patient to take their hands behind their neck and lie down at 45 degrees. I'm going to be talking about uh, inspection in different positions. In the first position when you ask the patient to sit upright with the thighs uh, with their hands on their thighs you start looking from the sides and come towards the nipple of the patient. Similarly on the other side so it should be done on both sides at the same time without uh, completing on one side and going to the other side so that is a wrong approach if you want to start inspection you need to compare both sides at the same time start looking for any change in the color any visible lump any ulceration then you come to towards uh, periareolar tissue if you see any abnormality you should inform you should verbalize about that and if you at the end you should finish your inspection at the nipple similarly on the other side and compare both sides together. In this particular breast you can see there is a change in the color this is called the pod orange or pod orange so whatever you prefer you can say it. So when the patient is sitting upright I will just change the position of the patient say for example the patient is uh, sitting upright for you and you start looking the patient from the side go towards the nipple similarly on the other side and then the next position comes you ask the patient to bend forward uh, with their hands on the thighs so like this so you will be looking on the patient's breast if anything any dimple are, um, appears or any abnormality comment on that the third position is while the patient is still bent forward ask them to Put the hands on the hips and press against the hips and see if you can see any dimple. Look for that and verbalize if you can find any dimple appearing on the breast mass because that will be uh, suggestive of the mass lesion connected to the underlying structures. Then the next position, the fourth one is you ask the patient to sit upright again and lift their breast up like this. And you, you're going to be looking underneath to look for any fungal infection, any change in the color in the skin. Like in this particular patient, you can see the change of the skin. It appears to be thick and the color has changed. So this is a pure D orange or pod orange. And at the same time, when the patient is still sitting, lifting their breast up, ask them to squeeze their nipples. to look for if you can see any crack, any discharge in the nipple. The fifth position is you ask the patient to lie on their back with the hands behind the neck. So the patient should be further inspected at 45 degrees. So this is uh, say for example, the patient is lying at 45 degrees. My next step is going to be the palpation. I'm going to be palpating both breasts. 
The rule for palpation is that you complete the palpation on one side and then on the other side there are two types of palpations superficial and deep in the superficial palpation always start by checking the temperatures and compare on both sides comment if you find any change in the temperature then we are going to start the deep palpation in deep palpation you always stabilize the breast mass with the other hand so you will be using two hands and start coming from the middle to the outwards okay and your palpation should complete in the axillary tail if you find any lump in the breast do not stop there mention that wherever you find the lump that there is a lump in the right upper outer quadrant or right lower uh, outer quadrant so wherever you find similarly after you completed palpation on one side you go to the other side and stabilize the breast mass with one hand start palpating moving outward okay the palpation should complete in the axillary tail and after that wherever you found the lump go back and describe the lump in terms of sight size shape fluctuation, trans elimination and any adherence or attachment to the surrounding structures. Ideally, we should complete the assessment by examining the axilla of the patient to find out if there is any distant metastasis as well as examine the patient's supraclavicular lymph nodes as well to find out if there is any fullness. That's all about this breast examination. It can come as a teaching or it can come as a combined station where you have to perform the patient's examination as a part of the scenario. That's all. Thank you.